We're entering into the home stretch for our Kansans looking to get amendments on the November ballot. THV 11's Carter Thweet met with organizers earlier today to hear their final case for why they want people to sign those petitions. So this is our last big weekend and we have six initiatives that we are collecting for around the state. The deadline to get an amendment on the ballot in November is next Friday. By that date, organizers need a little over 90,000 signatures from registered voters across the state on each of the ballot initiatives. They also need representation from at least 50 counties. And if they hit those two benchmarks, then voters will be able to decide on that issue. If we meet the certain requirements, then the people get the chance to vote on it. And it takes it out of the hands of, you know, the the legislature and it puts the power in the hands of the people. That's why this weekend and next week organizers will be across the state trying to get those final signatures for amendments relating to abortion, education, medical marijuana and more. They told me that you can sign the petition even if you're not sure about the amendment in question. Signing just helped us get it on the ballot so that voters can decide on that and you'll have plenty of time to do more research, look into um, you know, issues or questions that you might have. Petitioners have met some pushback from those who don't support the amendments, but they say Arkansans should be grateful that they have the chance to participate in a process like this one. We're also one of the only states that has direct democracy, which means that the people of Arkansas can put issues on the, on the ballot for voters to decide on. But it could be a close call to get enough signatures, and the results will affect what you see when you go to the polls in November. We're all kind of working together at this last, you know, big push. Um, we're very close. Ahead of next Friday's deadline, we'll be following closely to see which, if any, of these amendments reach the required 90,000 signatures. But for now, in Little Rock, Carter Thweet, THV 11 News.